So now that we're done with these, um, what I can do is go into my layers and we can organize things if you want. Um, that's why I say it's always important to kind of group things together and then you can rename them. Um, but the most important thing that we're going to do is figure out how to export these. So what I'm going to do is um, make sure my photo is turned off and then I'm going to delete the background that I created here. Um, because we don't need it anymore. We want to make sure that when we export this, these um, have transparent backgrounds. So what we'll do is turn off the rectangle. You could also delete it if you uh, prefer that. Um, but it's important that everything is grouped together in its own little individual grouping folder so that when we um, slice these and export them, it's exporting as a single image. So that's why I like to just go through my layers here and just make sure that all of the stickers are um, grouped with all of their elements and it makes up one single image. All right, when I select my drop down menu on the little carrot in my layer studio on Artboard One, it'll show my sketch which is turned off and locked and then it'll show my sticker layer and it'll show my background so the background should be off the um the sketch should be off and you want to make sure your sticker layer is turned on if you tap on the little carrot on the left hand side you can um, basically toggle down and it'll show all of your stickers and they should all be grouped together and you'll see one little icon for each one and then what we'll want to do is um, go into our export persona. So in the upper left hand menu, we're going to tap where the designer icon is. And we're going to select export. What export persona allows us to do is basically take all of the elements on this one page and instead of exporting it as one page, which you can do, you can export it as a PNG with transparency or as a JPEG with a white background. Um, but the thing that I find is most helpful for people who do di like digital planning is that you can export each individual element by itself in one fell swoop with transparency, without a background, um, without having to do much extra work other than selecting them. So what you'll see is, what you'll see is that the artboard will be outlined and then this new menu will pop up to the right hand side which is our slices menu. You can export all. Um, we do that without selecting each individual element. It'll just export the entirety of this artboard um, in one page, uh, but it will have um, transparency. What we want to do though is select all of these elements individually so you can um, drag over with our um, black arrow tool, which in this case is the slice selection tool. And we'll drag over and you'll see all of our elements are now outlined in blue. So then what we'll want to do once we've selected everything is go into our slices layers menu. So on the right hand side, um, the first one is your slices options. The second one is the layers menu. And what we'll want to do is create a slice out of all of these objects. So we're going to tap create slice. And then you'll know your slice has been created because it kind of has this little header in blue to the side. What I like to do is just kind of like go through this individually and make sure there's no like empty bits that we don't need. So once I've created the slices, that basically means that each of these are going to be exported as individual files. Um, and in our case, what we want them to be is PNGs uh, so that they have a transparency in their format. Before we do that, though, we want to make sure that the quality of the PNG is high enough that we don't have any, any pixelation issues. That's one of the biggest problems people tend to have once we get to this part, the export and then They'll say, Jen, why are my images so blurry or pixelated? And typically it's because Affinity will optimize your file size so that it's the smallest, but that doesn't mean that the quality is going to be the greatest. So next to where it says export all, we can tap on the little three dot menu and we can change the PNG type that we want. And then, um, or we can change the file type that we want. So in this case, we want PNG, but they also have PNG dithered, JPEG, um, best quality, high quality. But what I want for this project is a PNG. And then here you can select the quality type. So um, 1x is your standard, 2x is retina, 3x is the highest quality you can go for. So I'm just going to select 3x and then I'm going to go out of my slices options. So once I've set this up fully, now what we can do is select export all 
and then it's going to ask you where do you want these files exported. I have a file already set up in my Affinity Designer file on my iPad for this specific course, so I want it to export to that. So I'm going to tap on that, and then I'm going to hit Open, and then I'm going to hit Export All again, and it'll export all of the files. It'll export all of these PNGs into that specific file. So I'm going to go check on that. I'm going to pull up from my doc, go into my file system, select the course 33 template files, and we will see all of these have now been exported.